Maccabim Revi'i, 4 Maccabees, 16. If then even a woman, and that an aged one, and the mother of seven children, endured to see her children's torments even unto death, confessedly observant reasoning is master even of the passions. I have proved then that not only men have obtained the mastery of their passions, but also that a woman despised the greatest torments. And not so fierce were the lions round Daniel, nor the furnace of Mishael, burning with most vehement fires as that natural love of children burned within her when she beheld her seven sons tortured. But with the reasoning of the belief, the mother quenched passions so great and powerful. For we must consider also this, that had the woman been faint-hearted as being their mother, she would have lamented over them, and perhaps might have spoken thus, Ah, wretched I, and many times miserable, who having borne seven sons, have become the mother of none. O oh, seven useless childbirths, and seven profitless periods of labor, and fruitless givings of suck, and miserable nourishings, rather nursings at the breast. Vain, vainly for your sakes, O oh sons, have I endured many pangs, and the more difficult anxieties of rearing. Alas, of my children, some of you unmarried, and some who have married to no profit, I shall not see your children, nor be felicitated as a grandmother. Ah, that I who had many and fair children, that should be a lone widow, full of sorrows. Nor should I die, shall I have a son to bury me. But with such a lament is this, the holy and Elohim, fearing mother, bewailed none of them. Nor did she divert any of them from death, nor grieve for them as for the dead, but as one possessed with an adamantine mind, and as one bringing forth again her full number of sons to immortality, she rather with supplication exhorted them to death in behalf of the belief. O woman, soldier of Elohim for the belief, you, aged and a female, have conquered through endurance, even a tyrant, and though but weak, have been found more powerful in deeds and words. For when you were seized along with your children, you stood looking upon Eleazar in torments, and said to your sons in the Ivrit tongue, O sons, noble is the contest, to which you, being called as a witness for the nation, strive zealously for the Torah of your country. For it were disgraceful that this old man should endure pains for the sake of righteousness, and that you who are younger should be afraid of the tortures. Remember that through Elohim ye obtained existence and have enjoyed it, and on this second account ye ought to bear every affliction because of Elohim, for whom also our father Avraham was forward to sacrifice Yitzchach, our progenitor, rather progenitor, and shuddered not at the sight of his own paternal hand, descending down with the sword upon him. And the righteous Daniel was cast unto the lions, and Hananyahu, and Azariahu, and Mish, rather Mishael, were slung out into a furnace of fire, yet they endured through Elohim. You then, having the same belief towards Elohim, be not troubled, for it is unreasonable that they who know the belief should not stand up against troubles. With these arguments, the mother of seven, exhorting each of her sons, over persuaded them from transgressing the commandment of Elohim. And they saw this too, that they who die for Elohim 
live to Elohim as Avraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov and all the patriarchs.